Rey Mysterio, my favorite wrestler of all time, going into the Hall of Fame in just a couple of weeks. And it raises the question, will he be hanging up the mask at WrestleMania? We got a lot to discuss in this video, so let's get into it. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the No Nation Wrestling YouTube channel. Before we get into things, I want to remind you that every single No Nation Wrestling video is available on audio platforms, Apple, Google, Spotify, and more, linked down below. And if you want to support me and receive some exclusive perks, you should also become a channel member by hitting the join button down below as well. But one week ago on Friday Night SmackDown, it was announced Rey Mysterio going into the Hall of Fame in a couple of weeks. And just on a personal note here, before we talk about the whole possible retirement, what's going to go down at WrestleMania, is he going to go past WrestleMania? Before we talk about all that, man, I've talked about almost every time I mention his damn name, how Rey Mysterio is my favorite wrestler of all time. So seeing him unexpectedly go into the Hall of Fame is, is freaking huge for me personally, and obviously, you know, for him as well. I honestly, when they were going to announce the Hall of Fame uh, first inductee last week on SmackDown, I thought we were getting big old Dave Batista, and I think he still will end up in the Hall of Fame possibly. That might get announced tonight, the time this video is going up, before Friday Night SmackDown on the what is it gonna be i'm looking at the date the 17th of, of march that might happen still might happen which would be very cool because that'd be now two of my all two of my three favorites of all times going in ray edge batista that would be sick all in one year i mean i can't get better than that but like to be perfectly honest with you guys like i've talked about it here again on the channel before but like wrestlemania 21 Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, watching that show, watching that match, seeing that mask for the first time is the reason I am sitting here making a YouTube video right now. It's the reason I got Rey Mysterio figures over here. It's the reason the entire wall, well, besides two Kurt Angle things, but the entire wall right here is all on card Rey Mysterio figures, a picture of me. You know what? I'm just going to get it. Obviously, this 8x10, it's stuck to the wall. Obviously, this 8x10 is not from 2006 but the picture is and i just put it in here with this because the original 8x10 is like in my attic in a bin and i didn't feel like getting it when i was designing this room but literally this is from 2000 if it's gonna focus from 2006 february 2006 that's my brother that's me that's freaking ray mysterio february 2006 so he's hot off winning the royal rumble going into wrestlemania 22 and i met him and then this 8x10 i just bought from a store in some mall in Connecticut that Rey Mysterio's brother actually owns. And I knew he was his actual brother because I saw him on Monday Night Raw last year when they showed his family backstage. So I got that from him. It was a win-win. But anyways, man, seeing Rey Mysterio going to the Hall of Fame is going to be sick. I, I Honestly, I know The Undertaker probably had a great speech last year. Very deserving. But I didn't watch because I was just like, I just don't feel like watching the Hall of Fame. I don't know, honestly, the last time I watched the Hall of Fame. But I am definitely going to be sitting down and watching the Hall of Fame live this year. Got to see my guy go in it's been a long time coming no one freaking deserves it more than the king himself the goat himself the greatest mask of all time Rey mysterio but let's talk about wrestlemania and let's talk about this other son of the bitch in this picture not including myself dominic mysterio man will Rey mysterio be hanging up the mask in just a couple of weeks at wrestlemania now i'll be honest i i thought that we might have got the announcement on SmackDown that he was going to hang it up and it didn't happen. And then Dominic challenged Ray to a match on Raw. And I was like, all right, this is it. This is going to be, this is good. This is the moment that the match gets made and possibly the stipulation for the match. And Ray said, no, at this point with a stipulation of such magnitude, I think it's too late. And I don't believe Ray Mysterio is going to retire. If he was going to have his last match at WrestleMania, then not only do I think he'd be wrestling every week and on a little bit of a retirement tour, kind of like how Kurt Angle did, where he was just having random matches with Ray, Chad Gable, Samoa Joe, the he wrestled Apollo Crews leading up to that legendary matchup with Baron Corbin at WrestleMania. But regardless, not only would that probably be happening right now, but the stipulation of such importance probably would have been announced by now. You're not going to announce Rey Mysterio is hanging up his mask. Obviously, he's going to the Hall of Fame, but you're not going to announce that stipulation two weeks before WrestleMania. It just it's too it's too big for that man. I'm not going to say like there's no build up for because obviously they've been building Dom vs. Ray since Clash at the Castle, but the stipulation needs this whole time to breathe itself, and you're not going to get that in two weeks. So and I listen, I'm I'm not complaining. I don't want Ray to hang it up. I know it's going to happen eventually, but if it's not, I was hoping like maybe not this year. Maybe push it one more year. I think Ray said in an interview with like Ariel Hawani, I think it might've been last year or something like that, that he wanted to hang it up uh, either by or at 50 years old. And I think he might turn 
49 or 50 this year? Let's let's find out. Let's go on Google. His birthday's December 11th, and he's currently 48. So he would turn 49 this year. So hey, maybe he's not even going to retire next year. Maybe he's going to retire in 2025. I don't know, but it just feels to me that the situation right now doesn't really scream Rey Mysterio retiring. And again, I am not complaining. And whether that happens next year, WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia, which I'll be there for, that would be amazing to see live, just seeing my favorite wrestler hang up the mask. Regardless of that, if it happens there, that'd be sick. But we don't, we aren't gonna get it, I don't think. And I'm again, I'm not complaining, but I do think we are gonna get Rey versus Dominic at WrestleMania. However, I don't think we're honestly going to get an announcement in the next two weeks. I think Ray saying no to Dominic is just going to continue through the next two Raws and the next two SmackDowns. And this is just me speculating. I could be wrong. They could drop the announcement for uh, Rey Mysterio versus Dominic tonight on SmackDown for all we know. But with I, I can't see Ray just randomly snapping and going, you know what? Yes. I think he needs to be pushed to the edge. And I think what is going to push him to the edge is at the end of his Hall of Fame speech, after he has, you know, gets through all the real stuff, we're going to switch into storyline mode. And Dominic, who obviously isn't going to be inducting Ray, I think it's going to be Conan. Dominic, who I'm sure was going to be maybe sitting in the crowd or whatever, is going to get up on that stage or in that ring. And he's going to get in his dad's face right in front of everybody, in front of his family, in front of his friends, in front of legends, in front of fans, at the Hall of Fame. And there, whether there's a brawl or not, is where Ray is finally going to say yes, literally the night before WrestleMania. Whether that match gets booked for Saturday or Sunday, we get Dom versus Ray at WrestleMania. And I think that's where they're going to announce it, at the Hall of Fame. And I'm not saying that's why Ray's going into the Hall of Fame this year, is just so they can have that announcement. But I'm sure it might, you know, play into the fact of, listen, right, you're going to go in eventually, so why don't we just do this now? Because it would play a huge part in it setting up you versus Dominic. I'm sure Ray wouldn't be complaining. Listen, I don't think, I'm not saying that's definitely going to happen, but I do think we're going to get Dom versus Ray. And honestly, for a couple of weeks, I thought we might have just got a tag match and, you know, maybe Ray Mysterio wanted to face or wanted to wait for him versus Dominic one-on-one -on -one until he actually does retire. I thought at WrestleMania, we might be getting Dom and Damian Priest versus Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio. I don't think that's going to happen at this point. You know, I wouldn't mind it. I think we will get Dom versus Rey. I just think they're going to keep leading us on and leading us on and leading us on until the night of the Hall of Fame. And then Rey is going to break because it's going to be in front of everybody. Conan will be there. I'm sure Chavo Guerrero will be there. People will really mean a lot to Rey. And he's just going to get fired up in the moment. And he's going to accept Dom's challenge. And then we'll move into WrestleMania and have the match. And honestly, I think Dominic going over at WrestleMania. Or no, honestly, you know what? If we're really thinking about this, I think Rey going over at WrestleMania and then splitting them apart for half of the year, let's just say, kind of like how they did for a few months, go, one going to one show, one going to another, or whatever, splitting them apart for however long, and then leading up to next year's WrestleMania, reuniting again, and then next year having a rematch, and possibly, and I'm only saying this if Ray does retire at WrestleMania 40, possibly having that mask versus hair, you know, which is a big, you know, Mexican tradition, or just retirement match at WrestleMania 40, where Dom then beats Rey Mysterio. I don't know. This is purely me doing a little bit of speculating, a little bit of me fantasy booking, but all in all, Dom versus Ray at WrestleMania, do I think it will happen? Yes, I just think they're going to lead us on a little bit, but I could be wrong. And as for Rey Mysterio going to the Hall of Fame, to round out my thoughts on that, on a personal standpoint, uh, I'm very excited. I can't wait to see the speech. It's going to be great. Rey Mysterio... Um, it's, it was my childhood hero and he still is, you know, he's just, I, I, every time that guy's on television, I will drop what I'm doing. I'm going to lock into Rey Mysterio, my favorite wrestler of all time. I buy all his action figures. It just, I just, I love the guy. <laughs> what do you want from me, dude? Like yeah, Rey Mysterio and his career means so much to me. I got to be there for, you know, his return at the Royal Rumble 2018. Me and my uncle made the trip to Washington, D.C., uh, at SmackDown 1000 with the hope of seeing some of these classic SmackDown legends and lo and behold Rey Mysterio was there so I got to see his official WWE return that kicked off this whole run and unfortunately I haven't seen him wrestle live since but you know the pandemic and then the couple shows that have been in my area he really hasn't been on so hopefully I get to see him in person soon and see him rock that mask one more time oh and I saw him at WrestleMania 35 I almost forgot about that I know that match was very quick but that was that was actually the last time i saw him but i still i need a couple more Rey mysterio appearances in front of my eyes uh before he hangs up the mask whatever that may be but all in all guys let me know down below in the comments do you think ray is going to retire this year next year maybe two years from now what do you think is going to happen with the ray and dom situation at wrestlemania what's going to go on with the hall of fame let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments be sure to like comment and subscribe and if you want to support me hit the join button down below as well you'll receive a couple of exclusive perks thank you for checking out this video and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.